Hello everyone, welcome to Miami. We are here camping. My wife has three weeks of training. So while we do have limited time as to what we can and can't do here, because she's working six days a week, we will try to show you some of the sights and sounds of Miami. Now with her being in charge, it's probably mostly gonna be nurseries, fruit stands, and things like that. that but, Really? Yeah. Me being in charge? Yeah. Personally, I wouldn't mind uh, haul over inlet, but I looked and it's like two hours from here, so that's not going to work. But uh, Yeah, if you haven't seen it, check out. There's like a YouTube channel, Haul Over Inlet, where these boats just go nose diving in the water because it's so rough. But Or car stuff, I wouldn't mind. But we know we got the uh, fruit and vegetable nut over here, so let's go check out. Uh, some of the sights and sounds of Miami. Oh, I love that orange and black one. Look at that. One day I will have a koi pond. Yeah. After you come back alive from your Appalachian trail. Right there, I got in, got her saying it. I can have it. That's not a good sign. Let's check it out. you go shopping with my wife do you come home with a tree and she's got more on order an avocado tree this is avocado I have mango yeah. orders yeah and she's got some varieties of mangoes at this place they're gonna order for us where's my milkshake here's your milkshake they do have milkshakes here pretty good very expensive ten bucks a piece it's 16 ounces. And ten dollars. With the fresh fruit which you opted to get Oreo. Yeah, because that's Robert's favorite is the Oreo. So I got the Oreo. A little bit sweet. Uh 
So they have the uh, animal exhibit you can actually buy. Look like lettuce. They sell you lettuce to feed to them if you want. <laughs> Pretty interesting uh, fruit farm you know, stand. The most important, everything is almost everything is locally grown. That's what I was looking for. And then there's it looks like Dixon Smokehouse. So I imagine, yeah, they had barbecue here. They also We're sell have Cuban sandwiches later. That has nothing to do with the barbecue. Fine, whatever. That says Dixon Barbecue. It says barbecue. The, the, are they separate places? Yeah. Fine. You get that thing where you get the shakes. They have Cuban sandwiches where you get the shakes. Oh my God, barbecue and What? Be quiet. Let's go home. I'm Tired. going to buy. We need to find papaya. Please papaya plant. Give me patience. Papaya plant. I need to come back from with papaya. Casey's Corner, that's where we're going. Let's see if they're open. So we come to Miami and where does she take me? Where? A park. Fruit and Spice Park. Fruit and Spice Park. Uh, I have no idea what's here, but I guess I'm stuck. Supposedly this place is supposed to be famous for its cinnamon rolls and other baked products, so we shall see. Also it's supposed to be famous for their milkshakes, which I guess you actually finally got a milkshake this time. You want, it's supposed to be the best. Not a uh, smoothie milk shake. They said this place on the weekend will have a line like wrapped around the street or something. Pretty cinnamon rolls. 
So let's see if it's worth the hype. Pretty damn good. I don't think I'd wait in line for it, but it comes hot and ready. It's pretty good though. Not that impressed. What's the name of this place? Nows Farm. Nows Berry Farm. Knaus, Knaus Berry Farm. Well, the Germans are not pronounced in K. Check it out if you're in the homestead area. So on top of the bakery and produce you can buy here, they also have a you pick strawberry and tomatoes. I think something else, don't they? Cucumber? Right now, right now strawberry and tomatoes only. I guess that's that open feel. So drop my container. Yeah, so you can come here and pick fruit stuff too. That's the haul for today, tomatoes and strawberries. On to the next adventure. So that was entertaining. Yeah, it was. It was nice. It's the first time I ever played any kind of golf. Whew, it's hot. Who would have thought in the middle of the afternoon in Miami it'd be hot out? Whew. Even with the wind blowing through here. It's toasty. Alright guys, there you go. Well, so we uh, played some putt-putt. Alright everybody, check this out. Oh my gosh, you the camera. Right yep, the wife went shopping. I bought you ice cream. I mean, it's hot. Uh, you see? Yeah. Look at this! Wow. 
Oh my. Look at this, guys. Look at So she got an avocado and some mangoes. She's been obsessed. She's been obsessed with this stuff. Dude, seriously. Look at that. What? You. This is really hard to film. The sun's coming this way, the wind's going that way. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Only with you, my love. Only with you. Look at it. So, what do we got going on today? What? What are we doing? I don't know. I came to check mango trees. And you came along together. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to see. Now you're complaining. This is what we're doing in Miami. But look at it. This place is massive. So, uh, what? Hi, honey. Look at this little baby. I oh, see you broke one. I told you, freaking don't. I do didn't it. touch that tree at all. Yeah, look. I did not it touch that. broke my that. baby lemon. Mofos. And the guava also have some fruit. So now, uh, so now we're the owners of a lemon tree. A Myers lemon and some type of guava. Pink guava. Pink the one guava. the jelly that I bought. This is what it is. She's not done yet. We're on to no, we're go the sister place. store of this place. Haha, <laughs> honey's gonna build me a greenhouse for the trees when we are come back. I'm going on trail. <laughs> well, should we come back for trail? It's gonna be right time. Where's the phone? You have my phone? No. Oh. On to location two. I swear, we're gonna be a rolling nursery going back home. Gonna be a rolling nursery. I don't have my phone. Oh man, here we are, location number two. Well, On the hunt for mangoes. So now we have a Glen mango. Yes, it's most popular. Another mango. Another mango. Look at this, man, guys. Seriously, like, this ain't even the, all the stuff we have back at the RV, which you've already seen. Are hey, you blocking in my bike? Stop with the camera. Me and my tree. Yeah, you and the tree. How about some help? How about not?
So we have a tree, another tree. We have tomato plants in this plant. We have more plants. There's two more trees. And now she's got three more. You gotta see all this. You see all this. That she has. All right, date night with the wife, having some Mexican here, a little local favorite. It's supposed to be a good place. So far, not too impressed, but we'll wait and see how the food is. Hey, it's the first time we stopped somewhere. We didn't come back with a tree or a bush or a plant or something. Aww. No, well, we did go to Walmart and get food and a smoke detector one time. If you guys noticed early in the video, our smoke detector is hanging down. It's because it decided it, it wanted to go off early in the morning for no reason. So, restaurant. Check out this lighting. Uh, food was good. I had no problem with the food. I don't. I mean, I didn't. Mine was awful. Okay. So. Stupid, whatever the heck I got. She said steak. I'm like, don't call beef steak. Because it wasn't steak. The meat was awful and had bones in it. Uh, music so loud that we couldn't even talk. You probably picked it up a little bit when we were trying to talk. I was yelling pretty loud to get the camera to pick it up. But when you have to yell at your wife and I tell her something and she don't even hear it, it's too loud service was pathetically slow yeah. uh, i ordered a coke and they brought me a can i feel like i'm back in europe 12 ounce can two dollars because they forgot to take it off our bill so we had to have that corrected two dollars for a 12 ounce can of coke no no uh -uh. no chips yeah and this is the only mexican restaurant i've ever been in my life that don't give you chips it was like three dollars if you wanted that yeah I've never <laughs> never had a yeah. place not give chips wasn't that great like that la hacienda will go all the time it's freaking superb restaurant yeah they give you a lot of chips and then if you eat it they bring you more yeah that's the way it normally is but uh yeah that... yeah i'm not impressed actually this place had more reviews than the other place i chose yeah, every time but... she finds a restaurant good review <laughs> No, I, I don't think what it's based on. It's based on... Yeah, not good. Service really slow and... Uh, no no and fountain. nobody... The, the, the menu did not... The, the, the one problem I had, the menu did not have prices. But they do have a barcode you can scan yeah, and pull it up. Yeah, that's stupid. But no fountain drinks at a restaurant. That's just bizarre. So you're making a killing off of selling uh, cans. No chips and... Service is slow. So La Music is too loud. La Cruzada, yeah. Food is not that great. And it's oh, very, by, yeah, it's thing, very small and cramped in there. Yeah. Another thing, when they brought food, it was already like warm. I'm like seriously. So. Yeah. I will definitely won't return to that place. No. Good thing we're going home. Yes. Ooh man. All right. So this isn't how I saw our video in Miami going. So let me quick explain. Um, we had a frost back home. Her daughter went over and took some pictures, and there's a lot of damage to some of the plants. So my wife, very upset, you know, understandably so. She just spent a lot of time in that garden getting new tomatoes, things. You know, she started this stuff out with seeds. She has the grow lights inside. She started out with like eggplants, peppers, tomatoes, other stuff like that from seeds. They got destroyed during this frost, this cold weather. So. Uh, she doesn't have time to like restart from seeds and get them planted and let the roots settle before the heat kicks in. So she's been going around. She bought more tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and some other things. And uh, she's been wanting to try her hand at some like fruit trees. You know, we have like a peach tree. She tried a, um, I think, man, I forget the name of it now. She tried another fruit tree. She brought the seeds back from um, Panama Guava. I think that was it. Uh, and it died during the, during the winter. So what she's gonna do is keep these in pots and bring them in if it gets 
too cold when we're probably looking at like a small greenhouse and maybe shuffle some of these trees in and keep them warm um, during the winter so she's been upset about that uh, so she's been kind of focusing on trying to get her stuff back so that way when she gets back she can get the stuff planted and growing and then the biggest problem is right now it is spring break and if you've watched I'm not sure if anybody's maybe watched the news I've seen it here locally because we got TV uh, they have actually have a curfew in effect because spring break is gone crazy again this year lots of issues with fights and stuff like that so we're just gonna stay clear of the beaches and just avoid that mess so uh, you know I, I've, I've been doing good riding a bike for two weeks but um, I've kind of stopped here in the past couple of days I don't know if I'm gonna go out anymore um, had a bad experience crossing one of the intersections here you hit a button these yellow lights flash and everybody stopped and I started crossing cautiously and this guy in the expedition wasn't paying attention and he slammed on the brakes and started getting a little squirrely and I was like whoa <laughs> uh, and when he stopped he still had his phone straight up in his face like that still more interesting in his face now if you watched my video before you realize like there's no shoulder where I've been riding like eight miles of road with cars just buzzing by me and I think I just kind of like lost my nerve for being out there I don't want to get hit I don't want to get hurt before the trail so I've spent two weeks going out there pushing pretty good so I think I'm just gonna spend this last week let my muscles recover and uh, we'll be on trail so yeah next video the next video you see posted after this will be the Appalachian Trail we will be heading out now I will try to give you a garden update because I know I have a few of you that really enjoy that so I'll give you you know a quick garden update before I get on the flight head out there but the next video will be the Appalachian Trail we'll be out there uh, walking it so good stuff and I can't wait so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I know a lot of my long-term subscribers always love the interaction between me and the wife they always loved me and her going back and forth except this time I'm not getting in trouble for ordering packages <laughs> but uh yeah so you know you know COVID happened and we, we just stopped going places we you know tried to limit our exposure you know she would go shopping when she left work and I kind of stayed at home so really haven't done a whole lot um, and then I've been starting up with this whole Appalachian Trail stuff so I've been practicing and training for that so you know we haven't done a lot but I think this video maybe some good memories for some people so I hope you enjoyed it even though um, I really wanted to bring you beaches and some of the the glitz the glamour of downtown Miami spring break really is not a good time to head down there plus like she's busy six days a week she's going off doing the clinicals um, couple of mornings she has to sit here on the laptop do the uh, online courses with the instructors she's had to do tests so she's been studying she's been like just buried in the stuff so you usually have like one day a week to actually even go out and try any of this stuff so anyhow I hope you enjoyed what we brought to you next video will be Appalachian Trail so I cannot wait to bring that to you and start the trail so Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.